include everything. All right, guys, so last time I forgot to put a tweet out button, so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now. Just to remind you of a random quote generator, we're generating a random quote, we then want to tweet this out. So there's a few changes we have to make to our code. The first thing that I stumbled upon, or that I wanted to do was create a tweet button. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, so we have a button here, but instead of doing that, we're gonna use a, a tag, and then we're gonna give it a class of btn and btn as default. These are just bootstrap classes that are gonna make it look pretty. So let's go ahead and do that. And then within here, we'll say tweet out. Very cool. Uh, let's go ahead and save it. So there's our button. It doesn't do anything yet. Oh, it's actually interpret. You see how it's doing this? It shouldn't be doing that. The reason for that, the reason that uh, tweet out is clicking on it is because we, our on click function is tied to a class and they're both the same class. So we're gonna go ahead and give an ID equal to, let's say, uh, new quote. We'll say new quote. And then in here, we're gonna go ahead and target new quote. Save that. And now let's go ahead and test that we're only getting new quote is not working. Oh, uh, make sure your ID is correct. So it looks like our tweet out's not working as it should, but our new quote is. Pretty cool. So the next thing that we want to do is basically recreate an on click function, except we'll give an ID to our tweet button here. That's going to say, we'll, we'll name it tweet. And then we want to target that tweet. And we want to say, look, when we click tweet, so let's go ahead and say tweet, we're on click. We're on click, run a function that does some stuff. Now, what is it that we want it to do? What we want it to do is then run a run a um, we want it to open a window to Twitter that will then display something. So let's go ahead and just do that. The way that we do that is we're going to have it open up using window.open. So open a window to this. And this is all from the documentation. Exit out here. So now you'll see that this window opens up when we click it. But it's not it doesn't have anything in there and so what we have to do is set up that set up so that our URL there contains the information that we're looking to have. So now we have to pass over the random quote and the random author. So the way that we originally set this up was that we called our function one time and then we called it again if this was clicked on. What we can also do here is get rid of this and just go ahead and fill it so it's not empty. Um, and we can say something in an author um, in our author box here for quote. We can go ahead and say um, uh, uh, we can say uh, we can put a quote in actually. Let's do that. So would you kindly? We'll go ahead and put would you kindly in there for so by default it's always going to load with this on here and then that's from Bioshock so we'll go ahead and put that in there as well and now we'll load it right here so it doesn't have to run the function it should be a little bit quicker it's just be better uh, practice so everything's still working but uh, the problem that we're gonna run into is that we did these variables here locally 
So when we need to pass in a value here, so the way that we get the text added on is we're gonna do a little callback here. And so with the question mark text is equal, what we want the text to be equal to is the random quote. And so that will come out. But you'll notice that our random quote isn't getting any, it is having an issue here. So the way that we can do this is we can make these global variables. So we're gonna go ahead and do var random quote. And we don't need to recreate it here. So let's take that off. And now when we hit tweet out, let's see if that fixes our issue. So it's returning undefined. So what is it that we need to do? It's looking like what we can do here is two things. We, I think we have to actually output our random num as well so that it is storing in there. So let's go ahead and try that. And we'll, do, we'll go piece by piece. All right, now let's give it a shot. Tweet out. Still returning undefined. Let's go to refresh the page. So is our random num going to be fixed here? If not, ooh, still undefined. Let's go ahead and try author as well. Make them all global. There we go. So we need to include the author as well here. Make everything global. Otherwise, this doesn't really make much sense, and this doesn't make sense, and I was this. Uh, so now once we do that, you'll see, let's get a new quote, gotta catch them all. So we should get gotta catch them all. So that is how you create a Twitter button, and it might even be better practice to do something like this. Um, definitely don't wanna come off as a little noobish. So all we're doing here is basically just cleaning our code up. Go ahead and save it, test it, and we're getting undefined. Interesting, I thought we could do that. So perhaps I am mistaken. I'll have to investigate that later on. So we created our three variables, but that's it. So that's your tweet out button. Definitely style it up from here. What just happened? Why did it break? We quite literally only changed that. So let's go ahead and refresh this page and see why our code just broke. Undefined. That is very, very interesting. There we go. Uh, we needed to, basically what we wanted to happen here is we wanted the random quote. You get a new quote, and it sets it here. We just had our, we had it a little bit reversed here. So now we should have jobs done. There we go. We must construct additional pylons. There we go. Sorry if we got a little confusing there for a second. We just were calling things in a wrong order. So we called get quote here, that's great. It then will reset our random quote value. Um, and then we'll hit this one more time. So um, sorry if that was a little confusing, but uh, as always guys, I hope you found it helpful. Uh, thing to keep in mind is the tweet, tweet button documentation. I'll put this in the description, dev.twitter.com slash web slash tweet button. This will kind of give you all the information to understand how to fully customize your your URL here. And we may later on wanna pick this up a little bit more as well. So we have our random quote, and then let's go ahead and add our, our uh, a space. 
and then we'll add dash we'll add random author or just I think it was just author save it let's go ahead and test that as well tweet that out undefined undefined What is going on here? Let's see, tweet out. Is it because we don't run it yet? Jobs done. Let's go ahead and close that. Would you kindly and undefined? Ooh, this might be an interesting error where we rename these several things and we have a var author here and var quotes. This is a very bad naming convention of mine looking back at this. So let's go ahead and save that and see if that fixes our undefined error. So let's go ahead and tweet it out now. Undefine, undefine. It should work now. Okay, cool. So what's going on here with our undefined error is that <laughs> we actually never run this. Now, I changed my code thinking, oh, we can just insert something here. That was a bad idea because we actually need to run it in case someone wants to tweet out, would you kindly Bioshock? If that, but um, we put in a default value without setting it. So the easiest thing to do really is not choose which one that we want to do. Instead, what we want to do is when we run this, we want to go ahead and just call git, call git quote like we originally did. This is kind of the problem with the working on stuff that you haven't touched in a while. So let's go new quote, tweet out, that should still work. Cool. Now let's refresh the page because that was the debugging we're just doing right now. And now when we go ahead and say tweet out, it should say, hey, listen, Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time. Cool. So again, guys, hope you found this helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'm going to leave the debugging in the video because I think you'll go through a lot of the same similar situations and hopefully you'll find it helpful. Um, but yeah, thanks for watching.